Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today we're going to do a little update on the ecosphere. So for anyone who hasn't seen the first video, I'll link it in the description below. So this is what the ecosphere looked like after the first couple of days when we had it and this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, it's definitely a lot greener. So one of the main differences between the ecosphere before and now is the amount of algae that's grown. Now this is most likely because I left the ecosphere on the windowsill and it did get quite a lot of direct sunlight. Although it doesn't look very nice, the algae will actually be beneficial to the system as it will be taking out nitrates and other stuff in the water. Now this algae also made a perfect hiding place for some of the occupants in here, which I will show later. But the other good thing is it wasn't just the algae that grew, also the other plants did. You can see here that the stem plant that we found put out more roots and more runners and started to grow quite a bit. Again, this was probably due to the high level of sunlight and the nutrients in the water. The other plant that we had, the sort of moss algae, kind of got covered by the algae, but it's still there, but it's really difficult to see. I think the main question that everyone asks me and what everyone wants to know is, what happened to the inhabitants? So it seemed like the one thing we had the most of was leeches. So these leeches were all different shapes and sizes. I'm not particularly sure what they were eating, but they seemed to be thriving regardless. So whilst I was recording this, I uh, moved the ecosphere, which I hadn't done since I set it up, and the weirdest thing happened. It changed colour. From my experience in keeping aquariums, I would say this is likely tannins in the water. Now I'm not sure if by moving it I've disrupted something and I've activated some of the tannins or disrupted the sediment, something like that, but either way, it's actually pretty cool. Normally get tannins coming out of things like wood leaves and cones so it could be from the twigs that are in there so unfortunately i'm gonna have to take the ecosphere back down to the river as we're moving house in the next couple of weeks it's kind of a shame as i wanted to see how it would develop over time but you have to be responsible and put these things back where you got them so was the ecosphere a success yes i think it was i learned a lot about my local waterways and i had a lot of fun doing it and that's the most important thing so thank you for watching the video and thanks to everyone who watched both videos please subscribe if you enjoyed it Lots of new content coming soon. Thank you.